Hey guys, what is up? Red Panda Mining here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing well. In this video, I want to go through the potentially new FPGA that can do 60 to 50 mega hash on X16R at a very super low wattage. And I was given this information just recently and regarding it's regarding the new Intel Aria 10 FPGA chip. Now, I don't think they're new. They they came out in quarter 4 Q4 of 2018. So, I would say about 6 7 months old now, 5 months old uh, FPGA chip. So, Intel. The, I, this is the first time I'm I'm hearing this was the first time I've heard of Intel having an FPGA in general. So, it's interesting to see uh, that people are now, or some people, maybe just maybe a few people, are utilizing utilizing the Intel Aria 10 FPGA chip to uh, mine for cryptocurrency. And uh, for this example, X16R, which I'll show you guys in a second. So uh, this is what the Aria 10 chip looks like. Uh, let me blow one up here. It looks like one of these. Altera. I'm pretty sure Intel bought out a company called Altera and they just uh, put the their uh, name on the chip. Uh, don't quote me on that. I forgot to research that, but it's uh, that's what I'm assuming. I'm, I'm assuming. Uh, so guys, yeah, so here's the chip. Intel has FPGAs and they are selling them currently. Now, let's go through. I have a screenshot of the uh, Alum S1. I don't know if this is the if this is real or not, but it's obviously made in China. And as you can see, there's some Chinese writing here. And they said with this Alum S1, it has it's apparently I think it's going to use the Altera Aria 10 chip uh, CPU, and it has X16R here in Chinese. I I can't uh, translate this because it's not uh, uh, it's in P it's not a PDF or it's in a uh, screenshot form. And then at the bottom, you'll notice, uh, let's see, can I, yeah, okay, here we go. Windows 7, Windows 10, 64-bit, and then they have the x 16 hour algorithm, 50 mega hash or 60 mega hash. And then the notable part is the wattage, 50 watts, 20% give or take, plus or minus, and then, or 70 watts for the 60, 60 mega hash, plus or minus, give or take. Now. That is extremely, extremely efficient. Uh, let me let me go through what to mine here. Let's go through a few cards. So a 1070 Ti on X16R, for example, 18 18 mega hash on X16R, around 130 watts. Uh, let's say a 10 cents per kilowatt. Calculate. Let's see what the 1070 Ti gets. Uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, okay, so. Um, yeah, so we're not going to calculate the profitability. I'm just calculating what the wattage can get and the hash rate of a card. So 1070 Ti, 18 mega hash, 130 watts versus the 50 mega hash at 50 watts, give or take, on this FPGA. So extremely much more efficient. Um, let's go through another card here. Uh, let's go 2070. All right, RTX 2070. So. 23 mega hash and 150 watts. So it doesn't it doesn't compare really to this uh, new Alum S1 uh, F1 miner. So pretty efficient, guys. Something to look out, something to look out for. I also have a video I would like to I was given as well. So let's go. Let's watch this. So that looks like the four, there's four. Altera chips on one board. I and it, the video is really not clear. I I can't see any information here. Like, it's pretty blurry, and I I couldn't make out what um what the uh, like if there's actually mining X16R or not. But as you can see here, it looks like a like a custom PCB board with four of those Altera Aria 10 chips. So take that as you will, guys. It looks like this guy is doing like either mineral oil or some sort of yeah. It can't be water. It can't be water because it would like uh, short circuit. But yeah, it looks like mineral oil or something that's non-conductive 
that they're pouring on top of this, on top of this, uh, on this FPGA right now. So on there, it's pretty funny, pretty cool, pretty cool. But yeah, so there's some video, guys. I, I, I guess I don't know if it's real or not because the video I couldn't read if it was actually mining X16R or not. So take that as you will. This is just information that I was just given recently, and I thought I would cover it and show you guys. Uh, that there's people mining on the Ravencoin network with an FPGA. I don't care if you say, there's some people saying to me, there is nobody mining on X16R with FPGAs right now. That's a load of crap. I, 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 I just, <laughs> can you, like, people have to stop saying that. Like, if, if I'm shown this kind of information and there is bit streams or something for the FPGAs, uh, especially the you know the infamous BCU 1525 and the acorn with the apparent x16r hash rate uh, on their website that's shown on their website uh, you, you, nobody can't tell me that it's not true guys and I, <laughs> please tell me please tell me that x16r is not full of of FPGAs it may not be full of FP, FPGAs because there's only a select bunch of people that have the bitstream or the developer or whoever the private bitstream that you know it's not obviously it's not public nobody has it i haven't seen it on youtube i haven't seen it anywhere else on reddit or anything on the forums i tried searching but very, uh, there's a lot there's not a lot of talk about this and uh it, it it just goes to show that um you know the fpga market is still pretty private and you know, I, I and as well, I'm I'm also going to talk about the Squirrel Miner. This this the Squirrel the so Squirrel Research Company hasn't released the Squirrel Miner yet due to some legal issue. Um, it, it's been about a year now, and <laughs> I I I I'm not going to go through this down this rabbit hole yet because I, I'm not going to go through this rabbit hole because people are. I feel bad for the people that have these acorns and they're just not getting the profits that they were promised and the algorithms that they were promised as well. Um, as of right now, I believe there's only Zen or Bitcoin 0x, 0x Bitcoin uh, you can mine on the acorn. It's it's nothing, nothing that profitable right now. But uh, it, it's, pretty, it's pretty sad to see that they have these accelerated in quotations accelerated algorithms eth hash crypto night lyra rev 2 like these are old now like crypto night v1 you know it's crypto night r now and then x16r apparently can get uh better acceleration 61 percent 1.82 x on a 1070 ti for example uh, on ravencoin with this excel f with this acorn like where is it guys it's been a year now it's been a year and you buy something uh, a year before <laughs> you buy something and hope to expect it right away you like you, you can't just you can't just have this this um, uh, this software in limbo come on we gotta release it like this is this is for the good of the community the good of the mining community who cares about who who um, the property of whoever who owns this algorithm that bitstream that I don't care. People need this. People bought the, your your product. They deserve the miner. And I don't care if people say, "Man, this t it just takes a long time to create this kind of thing." Well, apparently now they've said it's just because of a legal issue. They haven't. They haven't. They're not able to release it. So, oh, the people that are 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 battling against each other for. IP issue. I, I I don't know. This is the most stupidest thing I've ever seen. I I'm not uh, for. I'm I'm just not happy with Squirrel Research or whoever's been uh, in this whole drama or situation of not releasing the Squirrel Miner for the people that have bought the Acorns. It just it just makes me make 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 makes me sad, guys. Anyways. I, I think this is the last time I'm going to talk about Squirrel Miner because it's just an ongoing issue and it's going to be an ongoing issue, I feel like, for a long time. And yeah, anyways, enough about that, guys. The next, next thing, the next part of the video I, I want to talk about is just other FPGAs I've seen coming out onto the market. There's one called the 
uh karn kane karn s more s'more five and this was announced on november 14th 2018 and it looks like it has the aria 10 chips and it's got sodium uh ddr4 ram capable yeah ddr4 and it looks yeah it has two of the aria 10 fpga chips and it looks pretty cool. It looks pretty cool. I don't know anything about the coding design or the, uh, uh, the physical hardware design of it. Looks pretty interesting. And apparently it was on pre-order for $50.99 USD. Pretty cool. Intel Aria 10 FPGAs on board. So take a look at that, guys, as well. It looks like it is shown on enterpoint.co.uk. I wonder if it is available now. It probably is. So it looks like it has some sort of breakout board uh, that that puts on the uh, end of the of this FPGA Canemore Carnsmore Five. So yeah, something to look out for. Probably, hopefully. Uh, oh yeah, I read that uh, he will. The person for this FPGA will be releasing bit streams. Uh, looks like uh, as he said on April first, twenty nineteen. Uh, yes, shipped to China, and bit streams will be announced. Announcements will be coming shortly. So that's exciting for the people that have this FPGA, or have bought this FPGA. Probably not a lot of people. <laughs> so something to look out for, guys. Um, if you see a coin or a network that might be overtaken by FPGAs potentially. So another one i've seen is this mining accelerator max1 but it has the xilinx chip uh, i haven't heard about this one much but it's something i i, I looked out for on crunch labs my crunch lab miners.com so something else there and as well as uh, zethron technology they have a hardware tab on their website you know it shows the infamous bitware cvp 13 and a couple of other ones you know the infamous bcu 1525 from Minority or Squirrel, and then I saw the Crunch Labs here, and then they have a Talent Pro TPS 1525, looks like another Xilinx board, uh, and then uh, the Kinds More at 5, which I explained earlier, a Bridgelink KU040, not sure what that is, and then uh, they have a Dimas Tech water block for the BCU, okay, so that's not, that's just a water block for the BCU 1525. So. I would like to also, if you guys made it this far, I I have, I'm going to be testing out an FPGA myself. Uh, I have a review sample coming and I don't think very many people have it and there's not much YouTube, much not much info on it recently. So I have it coming to me very shortly. So I'll be uh, doing an unboxing and a couple different review videos for that coming up. And uh, as well, guys... Last, lastly, I just like to end off with uh, if if you are into FPGAs or wanting to get into FPGAs, there's a nice little website here called FP, FPGA.guide, and it's got all a uh, bunch of different software, you know, from Squirrel, Bitstreams. It shows the Bitcoin Diamond and Zen Protocol, and as well as some other ones, Whitefire 990, um, and it has all the hardware from different companies here currently. So. You know, like Black Miner F1 and the Bitware and Squirrel, etc. So Xilinx and all that kind of stuff. So take a look at that, guys. A lot of good information here. Pretty cool. Looks like this website's updated all the time. So yeah, take that. Take a look at that. So yeah, um, that's the end of the video, guys. Let me know what you think about this Alum S uh, Alum S uh, Raven Coin uh, FPGA utilizing the Aria 10 FPGA chip. Uh, pretty interesting. Uh, should be coming out pretty soon, I think, probably. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think. I appreciate all of you who watch me day in and day out. FPGAs are uh, a rabbit hole, in my opinion. So, I, I would love to get into them, but uh, they're quite expensive and not very easy to set up, in my opinion, uh, according to a lot of people. But who knows? We'll see in the future. And thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.